Guys, there is this thing called AI. We have from time to time a user who has a message and it could be any message, right? In this case, it's about the kernel missing or not found or things like that. So instead of um, asking us, which is just fine, ask, remember, there is an AI, there is an artificial intelligence today where you can ask and you have your own tutor, your own assistant, your own brainstormer. It can do anything, right? In this case, in our case, we want to learn about Linux. So I told him, be as specific as possible, but I don't want to go to Arch or Arco. This is just a Linux question. What could be the reason to see the message boot VM Linux with Z, Z minus Linux, not Zen or Hardened or LTS, just that, not found. Order them so that the most likely cause is first and the least likely cause is last. Cause is last. And then you just type, so be as specific as possible. Tell them maybe as well, um, I'm a beginner or I'm an advanced user, or how can I solve this? What's the best way to do this, to do that? Just keep talking to it. So it gets better, gives you better responses. And then you read, right? So the most important one is at the top. Voila. So kernel not installed properly. Yeah, we got that because it can't be found, right? The most common reason is itself has not been correctly installed. So one of the comments of my beta test is said, install the kernel again, right? It was interrupted. Um, there was a power outage. Uh, you just press the button to shut down the system. That's on you, right? This could happen during an update or if the installation process was interrupted. Somehow it got interrupted you interrupted the normal flow of installation and that will kick any operating system out of its eh? how would you verify if the kernel is properly installed he is asking me questions grub a configuration error there is scrub there is system d did you do anything did you change anything did you change the configuration files arch linux scrub arch linux system d boot go read file system that's corrupt deletion file has been corrupted deleted and so on Manual intervention is needed, less possible, less common, eh, but still possible. If you or someone else has compiled a custom kernel, it might not have been installed correctly in the boot directory. Okay. And then hardware failure, malware, underized. This is less and less and less. The reason. I hope I can combine it with booting up and breaking plasma. So what if I have indeed no, that's already, that's still to be installed, I think. This will probably boot up into Arconix, right? What if I interrupted my kernel? What would happen? Can I mimic what happens to the users? Sure. Breaking a system is always easy. Fixing it is something else. So we're talking about this. If that's not there, he's going to say boot VM Linux. Linux is not there. How can I mimic this? Probably by shutting it down. The system just crashing it down at a critical moment in time. If I say go install me Linux and Linux headers, that's a thing that needs to be changed. So if we do this, maybe let's first get a bigger screen like so that one here that one there is there another way to show this no that's the best way so this is a date we're now 25th 23rd at night eight o'clock so if i install he's gonna try to change all these things and it's during this position this here this is a critical bit where he's going to do not this while well, it's also important anything is important don't interrupt the process of updating on anything ios uh, anything right but i want to press ctrl r at a critical moment in time so up here look at the hours and the date and I'm ready to press right control R. So reset, so basically pull 
the plug during installation of a kernel. What we're looking at now, voila, now, boom, middle of the update, I just had an outage. Will this break my system? Was this critical enough? Should have done it a few seconds later. I don't know. I guess a few seconds later. <laughs> Let's try again. <sighs> pity, right? Pity, pity, pity. Aha, <laughs> uh -huh. that we have. Okay, so we know the drill unlock him. Okay, let's try again to crash it. So this particular moment in time, let's see if it gets voila, done, right? Yay! So loading Linux Linux, premature end of file, boot VM Linux Linux and initial light, it's, it's more or less the same thing. It's, it's, it's there, right? It's there, but it says, uh, I can't read it. There's half a kernel there. And you need to load the kernel first. So basically, the other message was, there is no file. And this message is, there is something, but I can't read it. So it's easy, super easy to break things, but don't do that. Let the machine do its updates. Don't pull plugs, don't press buttons, system shut down like, eh? It will end in misery and you need to reinstall. There are just two options, reinstall or arch shroot. So basically the arch Linux ISO, you download it, put it on USB and you watch my videos about arch shroot. I'm not gonna repeat this one here. There are like 10, 15 videos about arch shrooting. And we can always fix the system if you know what you did, right? What's the last update? What configuration did you change? I was trying to do this, trying to do that. Turn everything back. See what you installed with RIP and see, okay, that didn't work. Remove again. And there's always a correct configuration if you're on tiling winner manager. There's always a scale in ETC scale, right? There's always a right configuration to get back to a working system. All right, cheers.